TrueNAS Tech Talk has released two videos since the last time I've done a summary. In the first video, they cover the 25.10.1 update, Linux gaming, and some user questions about WireGuard, BattleMage GPUs, and Drive Spindown. In the second video, they mainly cover the new TrueNAS web share. Let's look at each of these videos one at a time and do a detailed summary so you can make sure you're caught up with all the latest news. I'm your host, Evan. Let's get started. The full dot one update has been released to Goldeye. I'm gonna give you the highlights from this list that you're most likely to experience on your end. I'm also going to be including the link to this release notes in the video description below. One of the big things users were experiencing was the storage pools appearing offline after the update. Affected systems experienced temporarily missing VDEVs that required a system reboot to restore pool access. If you were one of those people who tried to update and after you updated, your pools were magically gone, this should have fixed that issue. For Apple specific users, if you're using Final Cut Pro on Mac, they've added a Final Cut Pro storage share for SMB shares. Samba has also been updated to 4.22.6, which resolves an issue where Time Machine backups failed on Mac OS Tahoe and corrects directory rename operations for open files. For Windows specific fixes, this fixes Windows 11 Virtual Machine TPM or Trusted Platform Module Persistence. The update also fixes the cure boot for virtual machines. In case you haven't heard, the Steam Machine has been announced and the Chris has covered some of the highlights of gaming on Linux, specifically speaking of the success of the Steam Deck and future possibility of gaming on Linux becoming more mainstream. Moving on to the user questions, a user asked about GUI support for OpenVPN and WireGuard clients to bind to apps. The Chris has said this makes sense for home web, but not enterprise, so there's no development plan on the horizon to build a GUI for OpenVPN or WireGuard into TrueNAS. Another user asked about the new Linux kernel 6.18 for battle mage cards. Chris Paradun is looking into this, and he is running into an issue with needing resizable bar support in his BIOS and UEFI. Without that, Battle Mage cards will not work, which may mean those cards are incompatible with TrueNAS for the current kernel. They are still conducting testing on the newer kernel, which will be coming with Half Moon in April. The advice is to do lots of research before trying to use a Battle Mage card with Goldeye. Lastly, a user asked about Drive Spin Down. The Chris is double down with discouraging any kind of drive spin down at all on TrueNAS systems. The advice right now coming from IX is do not spin your drives down, just let them spin, it'll be fine. Moving on to episode 47, this episode is all about the new WebShare feature being built for TrueNAS Half Moon. WebShare is going to be a way to access your files on TrueNAS through a web GUI, like File Browser or Next Explorer, but native to the TrueNAS operating system. This will be a new option in the Shares tab of the TrueNAS UI. You will also be able to assign access to web shares for users using a checkbox in the user setting page in the credentials tab. Web shares are gonna be able to do some really powerful things like preview images, show thumbnails of images, view video. It is a very powerful front end they're building into the system, which is going to require TrueNAS Connect to work. That being said, TrueNAS Connect has been given more generous options than originally announced. Now users will be allowed two systems on the free tier. Other users may be using something like File Browser or Next Explorer. However, this is a far more powerful interface. It allows you to do many things that can be done in the TrueNAS UI, but giving you a whole new web UI that can be built directly into your browser to do things that used to be done only through the TrueNAS web UI. This is gonna give users multiple options on ways to interact with their files. All of episode 47 was dedicated to the Chris's actually demonstrating the user interface. Later, I'll be releasing a video that demonstrates where WebShare is right now on the nightly edition of Half Moon. That is the summary of the latest T3. Make sure you subscribe to get notified when we drop new videos of TrueNAS news. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment about what you think about some of these new features that are being added to TrueNAS. If you want to have a longer conversation about that, make sure you're part of the Servers at Home Discord server. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious.